cute and, so it turns out, pretty crucial too. The Adderley and Gentoo penguins are native to this part of the Antarctic. Unlike other animals around here, they live mostly on the land rather than the ocean, which makes them easier to track. Penguins conveniently come to the same nesting sites over and over and over, year after year. And so we have this reliable signature of, you know, what are, how many individuals are there from one year to the next, and, and how does this play out sort of over, over decades or, or even longer time scales. Researchers came here to monitor the penguin population, collecting data from 21 different sites. Parts of the Antarctic have seen a big decline in animal numbers, but at least around here, those figures are relatively stable. This is obviously really good news, but really underlines why governments need to put in place urgent protection so that we can safeguard these healthy penguin populations and make sure they don't suffer the expansion of industrial fishing, which could cause them to decline in future. Until fairly recently, scientists knew very little about this cold and remote environment. Satellite imagery has helped, but boots on the ground have made all the difference. Understanding the lives of these penguins may help safeguard their future. Tim Ullman, BBC News.